Hi, this is Vidya Sagalam again from PS Media with another video on Elementor Phase Builder for WordPress. Today, I will show you how to design portfolio section uh, in your website like this one. Yeah, like this one. This is fashion wedding product. This is a photographer portfolio. You can download this template on my website for free. And this uh, in this portfolio section, I don't use any uh, Elementor Pro widget. This is the Elementor uh, free gallery widget, and this is the widget. This is heading this is divider so even the free users can design a portfolio very nicely before i go on the tutorial i want to announce you that once the number of subscribers reaches 100 for in my youtube channel is now 99 here one you can send me request to design any piece of your website on your request i will design um, a page of your website for the first five requests for free once it is a uh, hundred okay here this uh, uh, this is a pre version of the elementor by default the tf buttons are on the left and left side but here I align it on the center. Uh, I do it uh, by using some custom CSS, and you need to implement it for the pro users. They are lucky because they have custom CSS section here. They can paste the custom CSS, but for the pre version, let me show you here. We cannot paste the custom CSS here in Elementor, so you need to install an extra plugin. I will show you later. Uh, I will design the portfolio section in the Elementor free version only. Yeah. In the previous video, I have shown you how to design machinery gallery. Uh, let's use that. Or you can use the uh, image gallery widget too and uh, that's fine now go to your drive spot go to plugins uh, you have to make sure that you have installed anywhere elementor plugin and simple like box plugin you have to make sure that you have installed this and there is an element of free version and you have to install another custom css plugin click on add new and type custom css Here, install this. Don't forget this logo here. The second uh, two second brackets here. WP8 custom CSS. Install install it. And activate it. Now we are good to go. This is anywhere elementor uh, post tab here now click on add new and here whatever the portfolio it is if it is a web design or any portfolio type uh, you in, in portfolio means you uh, you will have some categories in force for photography there is fashion wedding product photography etc there is, are some categories like that you have to, if there is three categories in your portfolio then you have to design uh, you have to create three uh, anywhere elementor template 
Yeah, and this is a single the gallery template, new ele element template, and this is another, and this is another. I have created three a new element template. So make sure you do that. Now, portfolio fashion element uh, canvas template publish it did with elementor uh, and you yeah set the section to full white okay now what type of gallery you want if you want machinery style or uh, something like that then use single image widget like i have shown you on the previous video and uh, for now uh, let me show you using the image gallery yeah let's add images Uh, I will just show you using this available some images here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, let's say 6 okay, okay new gallery uh, I don't want to show any captions here for me you can add captions but for me just let me skip the captions here and color number of columns I will use 3 and image size uh 640 into 640 okay i will use this now it looks good we have the uh, good resolution here now click save and let's go to dashboard you have to copy this short code for each uh, every uh, template you have created here in any Elementor, you have to create two or three uh, templates according to your needs. For me, let me show you using this one uh, template. Here, go to your tab in your content section, remove this content and paste the short code. Okay, like this, and for the tab to the let's call it this fashion photography. photography and for this one too let me paste using this here you have to create different uh, templates uh, for different section steps I am just showing you only using only the one template because to save your time if I have if I am going to create a different different templates then it will take more time and um, video will be much longer so let's say wedding photography Like this, there will be two or more three uh, check the tips here. Now, go to your section in advanced. In the CSS classes, use this portfolio, enter portfolio, don't forget this. Portfolio, enter portfolio, and click save and if, if you are a, a, a pro use, elementor pro user go to the advanced section of your tips and in the custom css section of your, your elementor pro here in the advanced css section copy the short uh, custom css uh, code that i have the uh, given in the description below and if you are a pre user go to your dashboard and here in the add custom CSS, go to it and paste the custom CSS code that I have given in the description. Click save. Now let's check it out. This is for pre users. Click preview, view paste. Now here it is. Uh, tips are on the center now it looks good and let's click on it 
it will open on its uh, nice lag box for this uh, we have already installed the simple lag box plugin yeah it's, it looks nice right and for the uh, in here uh, it's nice um, ball and uppercase and for that you have to design it here at tips typography title or turn on let's say 24 font size here like this and transform uppercase here like this click save refresh now it's ball uh, uppercase here like this you can change the color too let's say for active color let's say uh, pink or something like that you can change it here yeah, like this this is uh, how you design your portfolio section now you have to put some heading uh, heading text and divider something like this to make it uh, look nice and in your section you can add background color too for that you i i assume that you have already know i am showing you only the trick for using the tape in a uh, gallery or image widget to design the portfolio section i hope this video helps you and if you have any doubts or questions feel free to contact me by leaving a comment below or here on uh, youtube or go to my website go to my website and initiate a chat here at at the bottom initiate a live chat i will answer you as if it's live i'm online most of the time 24 7 i will answer your question and i as i have announced you before it's 99 now if once it reaches 100 i will fulfill uh, for the first five requests i will design a page of your website for free any page it may be landing page home page contiguous page any page of your website according to your wishes thanks for watching and if you, you have not subscribed my youtube channel please do subscribe and encourage me thanks again